Okay, so we're up to the end of we're gonna finish the Maimon with the The end of Ois Hey. Now the Rebbe's teaching here. He finished explaining when this will lost the Hashem is right to be Kim Rav Chazdecha and Neni Bema Sishacha in light of everything we learned. In light of everything we learned, I hope everybody remembers the beautiful beer. Yes, which is reconstructed. So Vani is at once Malchus Ani. Why is why is Ani Malchus again? Because Ani means I am present. It's, it's an ego statement of ego. Ego emerges first at, at, at Malchus. The the whole idea of separation of Hashem being king over subjects, of Hashem creating uh, a, a creation and otherness. So otherness emerges. Ani, the sense of self emerges in Malchus Datsilus. The word is projected to the other, all of the layers to Malchus. But at the same time, Ani is Oisius Ayin, because Dafkin Malchus is the Ayin, is the true Kesser, the Rots and the Elian, the Sava, Kodesh Borucho, is Dafkin to be a Melech. And where? Dafke here. So in Malchus is invested the Ayin. So Vanis Philosis, Philosic, it means to join Lacha Havai. So this is the the whole Avoida of the of the Ani connected to the Abishta. The lower flame calling to the higher flame. All this is done through the Avoida we said before, Bachal Maitcha, and so on. Yeah, so so this causes the Ace Rots and Posse goes on to say, which is talking about over here. That's our whole the whole beer of the Posse here. That's the that's the Ace Rots and Hashem. And these philosophy of Hashem Ace Rots and what kind of Rots is this? It's a previous Rots. Higher than other kind of levels, revelations of Rots like Tikkun Chatzois. Why is this higher than Tikkun Chatzois, Raivin the Raivin of Shabbos? Tikkun Chatzois is about Tikkun, Churban. You got to fix it. The Raivin the Raivin is beyond the Churban already. Raivin the Raivin is the Pnimi Sakavona. The, the Nisav has revealed the Tainuk of the Ebishter in, in his relationship with the Jew. That's Raivin the Raivin. And that causes El Kim Barav Chazdech in such a relationship, in such a connection. So Midas Adin is transformed, doesn't disappear. Midas Adin is re-experienced. And then Begolo in a revealed way, not just Pepnimius, as the highest and deepest chesed, deepest love and connection. Anneni Be'emesi Shecha, that the Yeshua is not just temporary and fleeting and transient, but Be'emes, that's Chosin Yeshua of Al Pasik, which means ultimately the Gulamit is Vashlema. Not Shir Chadosh, but Shir Chadosh. So then he goes on to say, now we started learning. Bottom of the page, well, what, what page, if you have the same layout, it's the second last line. It's by the number 89. Just excuse me for a minute. So this is the, the meaning of the uh, revisiting apostolic now. Is that the Gemara explains it, referring to the Shisha City Mishnah. Emunas, right? On the Pasik, Emunas, they say the Zroy. Itecha, so Emunas, say the Zroy. We have explained that before because the Radak and Rashi. Itechos, I say the Moyed, 
Chais is a say the Nashim. So he explains the first. He has to go on to explain the rest of them, just the first three. It says the Zray is Kavah Chesed. Say the Moed is Gvura because it's, it's the, the limitations of time. Zmanim and Moedim. And say the Nashim, right? It's Kavim Tzoi. Tiferes. And that's Chaisen, the Gemara says, is say the Nashim. Chaisen means strength. Because strength and endurance is dafkin the kavem tzoi. It's only the kavem tzoi tifedes, which is always and forever applicable. Chesed, pure chesed, is not always a massive of chesed. Not always, no, no, not always is it a massive of gevura, but a massive of connection, which is what what tifedes is, which is empathy and connection. That's always and unchanging. That's emes. It goes on to say that's mid of, the mid of Yaakov, Shemavriach, two levels. The mid of Yaakov is that Mavriach Melakotza Lakotza, that's the central shaft that goes from one end of the Mishkan to the other. That's the Hebrew of Seder Shtal Shlos, the highest level to the lowest level. That's one expression of Emes. And Kud of Emes remains forever constant. That's the Pinimia Sekavon, that's the Emes. Emes is the Pinimia Sekavon. That doesn't change. He said earlier in the Maimer, Shinoi versus, versus uh, permanence. Chitsoinis versus Pinimius. So in Yaakov, is invested Pinimius. The Pinimius Akavon. But normally, he's Mavriach Menakotza Lakotza. Therefore, that carries through from the highest levels to the lower. But the true Kavim Tsoi is Mamshech from higher altogether than Kotza. That's where up to the Tam Hadova. And the reason is after that now, four lines from the bottom of Oisei. So the kavem so the middle ascends the primis akesa. What's primis akesa? It's primis akavon. Not external rotz, but primis dikerotz. And where the primis dikerotz is expressed dafke in the middle kav. Why? Why dafke the middle kav? Because the middle kav is all about the fusion. Again, empathy, fusion, joining, being one with the other. That's the kavona. And what does chitzen yasakesa mean? Chitzen yasakesa is a will which has an agenda. It's not the kavana. It's a means for them. So sometimes you got to do chesed only. Sometimes you got to do gvura only. But really, it should be motivated by what? Midisa emes. Because I want a connection with you. So sometimes it has to be chesed only. Sometimes gvura only. But, but they're means. And they have their places. And sometimes it's not chesed. And sometimes it's not gvura. But ever present is the connection, and that's in the kud of, of, of that's the panemius, that's the kavem tsoi, which another manifestation, by the way, another way to explain this is that chesed is melamayla lamata, gvur is melamata lamayla. What's the ultimate? Both. The fusion of both. The meeting, not only the alien coming down to the Tacht, and all, which is, that's what Chesed is. Or Gevura, the lower, reaching out to the alien. But a true relationship is when it's simultaneously both at once. At once. That's, that's uh, the Kavim Tzai, that's Tiferes. And therefore, Tiferes expresses Pnimius Akes, because that's, that's the Pnimius Arotz, Becoming one, one plus one, being one. That's what, that's what Pinimia Sakesa is. That's what the, that's the Nisava, the, therein lies the Tainug, and therein lies the Kavonda, and that is the Kavem Tsoi, say the Noshim Kavem Tsoi. Therefore, there's no Shinoim. Because my desire for relationship with you, no matter what's going on, whether after right now reward or or gavura, that's that's just means for then. Sometimes there's discipline and sometimes there's pure chesed. 
they're all just means by which our relationship is cultivated. Kavon is the relationship, and that's in Kavem Tzoy, and Ein Boi Shinoim. The commitment to you, that doesn't change. David says, desire for us and our desire for him. Is that somewhat clear? Yeah? Folks. Yeah, question is, boy, Leo, being in our heaven, she's been, the Shamas, the Malachim, this idea of unchangingness and panemius is a similar distinction between the Shamas and Malachim. Been out there, let's say, of my mother is Torah relative to creation. So, all of this, she says, our heaven should be panemius, because one serves the other, one's a means for the end, and the other one is the end. So, Chesed and is a means for the end. Tiferes, that's the Kavana. Again, Tiferes means the connection. That's also seen in Pashtas. Usually we turn to Tiferes as what? In terms of a middle. What time is it? What kind of middle is Tiferes? Huh? In, in Midas. In Midas. If Ava and Yira and Tiferes is. If there's a word, there's a word we, uh, what we use, we use, Rachmim. What's the difference between Rachmim and Chesed and, and, oh, uh, and Gevur, obviously? Because Rachmim is compassion, Rachmim is empathy. Rachmim is getting down to the world of the person you are giving to. Chesed is, you're about Chesed, you give. Everybody opens the door, you give. Not getting, Chesed doesn't get involved in the person's world. Dispensers. It's a dispensary of kindness. The Vodas says you're not getting anything until you deserve it. You come here, then we'll give it to you. The Vodas says who you. Yeah, um, in fact, not only who you, but you don't deserve it. You're not getting down to your world. It's got to be in the matter of my life. You earn it. Bittle, avoid it. Then, you know, the old, then you earn it. We don't have to give it to you. The Vodas says we're not giving you. You have to take it by right, by 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 justification by, by earned. You don't deserve it, you don't get it. And what's Rachamim? Rachamim, compassion is getting into the, to the intimately involved in the life of the person and helping them from within and feeling their pain and empathy. So Rachamim is a matter of relationship. Chesed and Gibor is not a relationship. Is that clear? That's why Embay Shinui, that's Torah Mitzvahs, the Shamas as opposed to Malachim. And therefore, it's, it, it's been a kotze, a kotze, and even higher, because if it's about the desired relationship, no matter what's going on, the commitment is there, and we'll work it through, we'll make it happen. I'm not abandoning you ever. Tiferes means getting involved. And therefore, it's both at the same time. You're lifting the person. You're getting, you're lifting them, and you're getting involved down to their world. It's chesed and gevura simultaneously. Not a bit of this and a bit of that. It's it's one thing. It's a relationship where you are, get down to their world and you work with them to lift, to elevate themselves, to get to be helped, whatever's required. Tiferes is the famous story with the, which you've, we've told many times, you heard many times, you read many times, the Fidik, the Rebbe Rashab and the Razor as a child, and the Rebbe Rashab, the Razor is the Rebbe, and the Razor answers him, he had a question, he was eating nuts, more nuts on Shabbos, Right? He told him to dive him from the Siddur. And the mother sees that he's not following the instructions. And he said he's not a Rebbe and his answer and his, and his, and his advice won't help. It's not the advice that helps, it's the Krecht that helps. The sigh. And he didn't sigh. He didn't sigh. He didn't feel what I'm, what I'm feeling. He dispensed chesed. He dispensed uh, advice. The Rebbe is not a dispensary. of advice or even blessing. It's the connection with the youth.
Zavi double kimis kaladvar and mail and so this is the meaning of the pasuk. We dabrali ki meskol hadvarim ha elalim. Everything now, right? One thing he didn't explain was elikim. My shem elikim is used. It's not explained here, but elsewhere it's explained. So the Ebrish just spoke all these words, which is kol atayda kol, all the way down to what a tam levasik will reveal lame to fuse with the asset with asad mamonish. I said asad debis nois nim kiyum. Basal Mamoris said that said that it was give permanence and meaning and value to creation. That's all Mamoris. As we explained before, the Mayoisha gets a big value to Gehidish friends. I will say this the Mayoisha Gamma Sara Mamoris Shorshim, one of my Atmos. Even though Gewalt creation comes as a direct investor of Atmos, Yeshma Ayin. Right, as explained at length previously, it's only Atmos that has no cause that preceded him, God forbid, that creates something from nothing that in its own world, like God himself, feels it has no cause. That's Takiwa the Shadish. So, what can be more than that, obviously? So, what does Taylor Mitzvah bring to bear? What kind of Kiyum? So the rectum vesture of Atmos become mocking. The answer is nonetheless, Kishim Shachim Lamata Rehim Boy Bishinu. As the Abishta actually creates, it comes through a whole process of change, Ishtal Shalus. And this further and this closer, and at the end of the day, it's all a means for an end. Yes, God says, of course, I'm creating creation, and only I can. In terms of Atmos, no divine revelation that I will emanate can create. But I'm creating only for in order. And therefore, this change in all of the process of creation. A significant creation, a less significant creation. Unchanging. Because that's the inner desire. Just to add the caveat, it's not Tere Mitzvah itself, it's the Yid Shadu Tere Mitzvah. Well, which is the point. And therefore, the Sassadib is give a Kim endurance and meaning and value. The world becomes a Dira, therefore, every part of the world is reflective of the relationship. It's significant and it's eternal. And that's the meaning of the truth of Havai is drawn into the world. Shayidei had Torah through a year, learning Torah, living a life of Torah mitzvahs. Kei l'gal masha talmud vasik asid lechadish, including that which a diligent student will innovate in the future. Shanit l'moishem misen, it's all given that Sinai is revealing Torah here. Mamshichem b'ha olam p'chines emes avai be drawn to the world, the truth of the Abish to the world is a reflective of his unchanging being. Zel gam emunas itecha chais in Yeshuais. This is also the meaning, then again, you put here, kind of. That through them, when I see Techo, the Rashi in the Radak, Chais in Yeshua, Isha Nimshach Kiyom, be it Techo, the Chaisik by Yeshua's. And Muna, again, referring to Tere Mitzvahs, referring to your, to your, to your devotion to Tere Mitzvahs. So what does this bring? It brings a permanence to the salvations and a permanence to the times. To the, again, the, the, Transience of time. Shim shachkiyam bitecha v'chayzik by Yeshua's. A strength to the Yeshua's that the salvations that a yid has shetiyah Yeshua makadosh baruch atzmo. That he should feel that it comes directly from the Eibush to himself and not filtered through kavayochel the agency of malachim and and neviim and the oir. Hainu leira k'mishakos of nachmo nachmo ami. That the Abishnah sends the prophet to comfort his people. Shazel the Chomas Hanavim Sheinoi Maspeka is not enough. After this continued Kamisha Kosa, finally Anoichi Anoichi, he didn't protest. And he is so idly no Choma, which is after right after Nachmo Nachmo, a ship, a tempest on the on the on the on the ocean that that is that is not comforted, that is that is agitated. So they wish to respond to the third after again, the third after the first one is Chesed, second one is Gvura. 
Third is Anoichi, Anoichi, Menachem. Ah, says God, that's what I'm waiting to hear from you. You don't just want to have it good. You want to feel me and my love for you. So therefore, I alone will comfort you. That the comfort comes from the Ebishtimself, the Himself and His glory and His essence will come and redeem us. And then, in a revealed way, the truth of the Abish is revealed in creation. All of creation will reflect his truth deeper than that, will reflect his deep relationship with us. That's the Chais in Yeshua's. The Abish's glory is revealed, and all Bosa, all of creation will. We'll see the Bias Mashiach said, Kain the Bukhari Mamish, the Matam Masorat Fach. Amen. Okay, rather than review the Homaimer again, which we did many times in the course of our Shir, I will read now the Techlin Yonim. Tomorrow we'll start, Bez Hashem, the next Maimer, which is Pashat Bishala Shabbos and Borchim Thomas. Okay, it's a very short little taken by Nyanim here, and it reads as follows. That the key of the endurance, the permanence of the Serban Baris is through the Seres Adibes Dafke. Because the Seres Emes, which doesn't change and is enduring forever, for within it lies the Pnimi Sekavon. So it's a very, very brief here. The difference between Aser and Moras and Seres Adibes is like is the same distinction between Malachim and Neshamas. Malachim are rooted in the Chitzoni as Kalim, Neshamas are rooted in Pnimi as Oiris. Two Perushim in the Posse, Vayimun HaSitecha, Ches and Yeshua is first the Radak, then Rashi, and the connection. The third has to be done with the way of Yiskaf Yadavke. Hence it's the diak is those mitzvahs that a person has to break himself, which is where he toils from making a living and gives and gives the trumas and mitzvahs and so on. And then all through that, this course is a kiyom in the oilam. Okay, because it's an unusually very brief teichem. Usually they give us more detail there. And but friends, there's no substitute for chazara. What can I tell you? We all have very busy lives. But we have to have we have to review the minor. Okay, so Beis Hashem tomorrow. Shavas Pasha Shlach of Chesivin, which was yesterday. Rabbi Kessler and his Fabrengen on Shabbos. The first part of the Fabrengen, I'm not going to go into the whole protein, but his, his whole dick, you'll be able to hear. The whole dick was Chav when the Rebbe came to America, or the Rebbe came to America. The dick is America, or the dick is that the Rebbe was saved, the Rebbe came to America. It was a whole beautiful explanation based on the Sikhs. That it isn't about ever being saved. It's not how the Rebbe emphasized it. And he gave two answers. First of all, it's inappropriate to emphasize that the war was still raging. The ovens were burning. So that the Rebbe was saved, that's not what the emphasis. The emphasis is America. That a new stage in spreading the wellsprings of Chsidis began coming to these shores, to North America. That was the first part of the, of the Fabrengen. And some beautiful stories, personal stories that are related. Okay, friends.